Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. Echometer Touch 2 uses a hardware module and software app for real-time monitoring and recording of bats. Let's take a look at the Echometer app. Once the Echometer app is launched and has detected the ultrasonic module, the first screen displayed is the live mode screen. Echometer uses a series of screens for its functions. The different screens can be accessed from the side panel, which is available from the upper left corner. We'll cover the other screens in separate videos. The live mode screen displays a spectrogram and waveform view. The spectrogram and waveform provide a visual representation of the frequencies, amplitude, and timing of sound, in this case, bat echolocation calls. This slider on the right changes the proportions between the two views. Time is displayed from left to right. In the spectrogram view, frequency is displayed from top to bottom. Dragging or pinching vertically moves or scales the frequency view. Dragging or pinching horizontally moves or scales the view over time. You can scroll back in time through up to 10 minutes of history. After scrolling back in time, a return to real time button appears at the top right of the screen. Press to jump forward to display in real time again. A slider on the left can be used as a frequency reference point. This button opens a panel of sliders to change the brightness and contrast of the spectrogram view. There is also a slider to set the minimum frequency for trigger recording. We'll discuss trigger parameters when we get into the actual recording of bats. In live mode, Echometer constantly monitors and displays the signal coming from the ultrasonic module. There are two display modes of the live input signal. Switch between compressed or expanded monitoring with this button. Expanded mode shows a continuous scrolling display of the live input signal. This is useful for checking the timing between separate bat calls. Compressed view only displays ultrasonic signals. The spectrogram only scrolls when an ultrasonic signal, such as a bat call, is detected. Typically, compressed view will make it easier to monitor individual bat calls since many more will fit on the screen at the same time. To the left of the compressed view button is the audio monitor mode button. Echometer can provide a real-time audio output of the incoming signal, which is played back through the device speakers or headphone jack. Echometer can use one of two techniques to make an ultrasonic audio signal audible to the human ear. RTE, or real-time expanded, translates the ultrasonic sounds to a range that is audible to humans by taking tiny snippets of the sound and slowing them down. The second choice for monitoring is HET, or heterodyne mode. This system allows you to set a tuned frequency and plays the difference between that frequency and the input signal, in this case a bat echolocation call. Auto mode will constantly tune to the frequency with the most energy above the trigger minimum frequency setting or drag the slider on the left to manually tune the playback frequency. A bandpass filter is implemented based on the zoom level of the frequency axis in all listening modes. If you zoom in, you will only hear the frequencies visible on the screen. If there is quite a bit of low frequency noise or the recorder is picking up its own output, you can zoom such that the noise is not seen on the screen and therefore filtered for a cleaner playback sound. All frequencies will still be recorded. Press the button a third time to turn audio mode off. To the left of the audio mode button are the record buttons. There are two ways Echometer can initiate a recording. Echometer can record in a manual setting. When the manual record button is pressed, the recording is started from five seconds before when the record button was pressed and continues until the button is pressed a second time or 15 minutes has passed. The second record button is for triggered recordings. In this mode, Echometer will only record signals that pass the record trigger parameters. The recording will be started and stopped automatically based on the detected signal. We'll cover the record trigger parameters in an upcoming video. The button on the right stops live mode and puts Echometer into low power consumption mode. Live mode can be resumed by pressing the start button. Now we've seen a review of the controls in the live mode screen in the Echometer app. 
The next video will examine how to use Echo Meter Touch 2 to record and auto-ID actual bat calls.